Guess what you're doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey guys, so in today's video, um, yes, I'm somewhere a little different because I'm trying to like just switch up where I film a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting. So anyway in this video as you guys saw from one of my previous videos I'm not sure when I'm posting this but I did like kind of redo my mouse cage and give it a nice sliding door and um, you guys I'm guessing will have really liked that. So in this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did that and how pretty much you can do it too at home if you want because like I believe I said in my video where I first talked about this I did not see anybody do this idea or anything like that and I think this finish kind of gives bin cages a nicer look. It makes it more easy for you to like get inside and out of the cage. So the last cage I did was my mouse cage and this cage that I'm doing is going to be my hamster's cage, Gus. First thing that you are going to need, well the main thing that you're going to need, one of these. So these are just the Frost King adjustable window screens. I found mine at... Um, my local hardware store, Home Depot, but you can probably find these or something similar, even if it's not the um, same brand, anywhere at your um, local hardware store. You're also going to need um, some type of glue, so most bin cages, you're going to need some type of glue that can adhere um, various compounds or what do you call it, finishes. So we're going to be gluing wood and also plastic so the glue I chose to use was hot glue but I use hot glue to glue the little wood strip on here maybe a clamp so like in uh, you know muslin clamps or hardware clamps that you just use to like clamp stuff down so Home Depot they have these painter sticks so I just went to go grab mine and these are this is what it looks like after you cut it off but if I can find an image of a full one, I will leave it on screen. But all it is, pretty much, it has like a little dipped in piece at the end. So I just cut it to make it extremely flat. And now we just have this piece, which is the perfect length on the back. So that's what you're going to want. You're going to want, I just used um, one of the Home Depot painter sticks. But you can also just use a really, really thin piece of wood. I want to say this is about a quarter of an inch or maybe a sixth of an inch. Just a thin piece of wood that's the same thickness of this piece right here. Oh, and you're also gonna need, I recommend an X-Acto knife, but if you're young or whatever, just have a parent help you. So anyway, hopefully I did not forget any items that you're gonna need for this project. But anyway, let's just get right into it so that this video isn't too long. All right, as you guys can see here, we just have Gus's bin cage, which is just the Samla bin cage. And he has tape on it along with zip ties and mesh. So right now you're just gonna see me like strip it down until all we have left is the original hole that I made in the bin cage. Alright guys, so as you can see, depending on how you glue it on is going to be the way it slides open. So I am going to be having mine slide out to the left, but as you saw you can also have it slide out to the right. Alright, so as you guys can see, whatever side you decide to glue it on, there's going to be one wooden plank and then there's going to be just this metal little rod right here. So this is where we're going to take our painter stick and glue it onto that metal rod in order to kind of do the same thing to the other side. In order to give it that little wooden piece that we're going to use to glue onto the cage. So as you guys see, that side that we just glued is going to be the side that gets glued up against the cage. Alright, so as you can see, just like I said before, we have these two wooden pieces right here and those are the two that we're going to put glue on and just attach right to the cage. Making sure that you keep in mind which side you want to be the part that slides out.
Alright guys, so just for some extra support, I'm using a staple gun from the inside of the cage just to keep the wood on a little bit better. Alright guys, so this is where we're going to use our knife and we are just going to start cutting the mesh. So notice I'm starting here where the original cut in the bin is. You don't want to go any farther out than the original cut of the bin is or else there will be like extra space that you just really don't want. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, this is the finished product. It's a nice, smooth sliding door that I hope you guys all really enjoy. And this little white bar right here, you can add a little handle to that in order to open and shut it if you really desire. However, the little white bar originally here does a pretty good job. Alright guys, so that was it for the video. As you can see, it's not hard at all to do and yet nobody is doing this. So I hope by making this video, um, a lot of people get to see this and become aware that you can make a very easy and useful sliding door for your bin cage. But yeah, I use this method. I have used, but, sorry, Mason is in the window. I've used this method twice now and I love it so much. I can film um, videos easier now without having to go to the top of my camera. So I'm really excited about that in the future. And let me know if you guys use this method of creating a door in the future, or if you like it, you know, anything. Just let me know down below in the comment section. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Treat you just right.